Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 24th, 25th of September. We are just going to see whatever comes up here. This is for all signs, may not be for you. This is just whatever I'm picking up on today. Typically my daily vibes are, they resonate with me after the fact. I don't know how it will be with you. Could be sometimes that they resonate at the time, but many times they resonate a few days later, or up to a week later, but sometimes it's on the day. Sometimes the energies have already passed, you know, it's weird. So we have the Knight of Swords reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's not acting with integrity. Somebody has no follow through. Somebody is hurting another person. There's a lot of hurt here. Um, cold hearted. Um, definitely not being honest, okay? Somebody is not being honest here. Gee, some girl I wanted to jump. I had to push that card back down. Three of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, there's a lack of appreciation, a lack of, of togetherness, a lack of compromise, lack of cooperation here. You're dealing with an untrustworthy individual. <laughs> yes, you are. Um... Ooh, Four of Cups reversed. It's like there's an offer of love, but they can't see it. Or you can't see it. It's like it's being thrown away. It really is. It, the, the love is being thrown away. The magician reversed. Okay, so this is like a very cunning individual. There is definitely a very cunning, sneaky, deceptive individual in this reading. Okay, there's somebody that has some tricks up their sleeve. They don't want to... They don't want to communicate. They don't want to compromise. They have no, they, they will not apologize. There's no apology here. If you're waiting for an apology for somebody, you might as well stop waiting if this is for you because there's, there's no apology here. This is a no, 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 okay? So it's like you're dealing with somebody who, who doesn't have any integrity, okay? I mean, the, the Page of Pentacles reversed, the Knight of Swords reversed, the Magician reversed. This, there's, I mean, the Three of Pentacles, we read this person, whoever it is that you're thinking about, they don't have any ability to work together with another person. I mean, they don't. They don't have that skill. Okay, that skill is not part of their makeup. Okay, so um, there's really nothing you can do about it, it, it except for, you know, stop focusing on it. Stand up, grab a new offer, and get the hell out of there. I mean, you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want to learn any new skills. They, they don't have any desire to learn anything new at this time, okay? With this, they don't. They don't. They're in, they're in no hurry to change. They're not going to change. So if you're waiting for somebody to change, you're waiting for somebody to change. It's not going to happen. They don't have the desire to do so with that magician. It's like they don't care. They don't care. So, you know, if they don't care, 
then you should you should probably you know instead of living in this this spot of discontent and wanting more you should probably just just stand up and walk away they don't appreciate you they don't appreciate the the love they don't i don't know what the hell that who that's for page of cups no, Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. Knight of Cups. King of Wands. Hangman reversed. Seven of Swords. Yeah, there is definitely a sneaky individual. Tricky, um, deceptive. A lot of deception here. Um, yeah, very, very cunning. This guy thinks he's getting away with something. He is. He's got his hands full. He's he's like, ah, look what I'm I've I've won this. I'm out of here. He's like, ha ha. You know, he thinks he he's a joker. He's absolutely a joker. This joker thinks that he is he's won. He thinks he's getting away with something. Ooh, but he's about to get cut right out. She's not playing games, this Queen of Swords. It's like, you know what? I can I can see your tricks. I can see. This Queen of Swords, okay, she can see. She can see the lies. She can see the decep deceptions. She can see the manipulation. You kidding me? You think I'm going to play this game with you? I think there has probably been some sort of, you know, false, false romance, a false offer of love. I mean, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is, is Prince Charming. You're dealing with a very cunning, charming individual that is coming in with an offer that he's, or he gave an offer that he wasn't even sure about. I mean, he's discontent, he's, yeah, he's pretty, he, he looks really good, doesn't he? But it's like, he's very confused, the look on his face, he's confused, he's, he, it's like, he doesn't even know what the hell he wants. And I feel like, you know, this guy has no follow through, he can, he can, he looks real good, he looks real good, and he, his words are, are full of charm, but, but there's really nothing in the cup. There's nothing in the cup, okay? It's not full. It's definitely not overflowing. That's for damn sure. And he looks really, like, look at the look on his face. He, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, that look on his face. I mean, he looks really discontent with his offer. He's like... Doesn't matter if the cup is empty. I look good. So, looks can be deceiving. Okay, looks can be deceiving. So beware because you're dealing with a person that doesn't have integrity. They don't have any plan. They don't have any plan to stick around. Okay. They're in no, they're not going to make any changes. Okay. They don't want to learn any new skills. Okay. They don't want to learn anything from this. They already know it all. You're dealing with a know it all. Okay. So I feel like you're dealing with a very conceited individual that um, may have, may be keeping you stuck. And it's time for you to stand up, stop sacrificing yourself. And cut this person out by the looks of things. This is assertiveness. Be brash. Be harsh. And and I hate to tell somebody to be harsh, but she has she. That's what you got to do. Because if you're if you you know he thinks look at this shit, okay. Look at he's looking back at her like ha ha. I got you. And look at the look on her face. She's like she's really like pissed off. She's like are you kidding me? 
You think you're getting away with this shit? I mean, he's looking back like, ha ha. He thinks he's one. He thinks he's one. He thinks like, yeah, he's a smart ass. Okay, we got a smart ass in the mix that thinks that, you know, he's in control. I'm getting away with this. I'm getting away with, I mean, not only, not only hurting you, I'm getting away with your heart because the heart is up here. Okay. And she's like, you know what? I, I see this absolutely clearly. You're a liar. You don't have any power. You think that's power? Hurting another person? You think that's power? She's like, no. No. So, I feel like there's some sort of... letting go with this hangman reversed it is it's like I'm, I'm letting go I'm letting go of you trying to hurt me I'm letting go of you stabbing me and stealing from me stealing my pride trying to confuse me because I want more. I want love. I want love. This King of Wands right here. This is about going a new way. It's time for me to go a different different direction. This guy gets creative to come up with a solution. And you may have this person that you are dealing with may have come up with a creative way to manipulate you, to take your power. I mean, look at this, magician, that's power. I don't know if I zoom this in. I mean, the power is reversed and it's right over her. So somebody has tried to steal your power and they did it. They did, they, you know, they think they did. They think they got away with it, you know? So they're like gloating. He is, he's gloating. He's like, ha, ah, I took your power. I took it. I took it. And she's like, fuck no. Excuse my language. You didn't take my power. I'm way, way, way stronger than that. Hell no. She's seeing it absolutely 100% clearly. Your trick didn't work with her. No, no, it didn't. So I feel as though we have somebody here that has come up with some sort of grand plan, some scheme to steal your power. But you see right through it. Let's get some clarifiers. And you let go. You let go. It's like, you know what? I don't need to keep stalling. I don't, I don't need to sacrifice myself. It's time for me to face the truth of this situation and stand up and walk away. I do see standing up and walking away from this player. You know, he's this guy is like POS. Mm -hmm. Well, of course we have the five of swords. He, this guy is an, is has, his ego is is bigger than anything else. Look at these people. Okay, we're just gonna lay this one down. I mean, he's in. The, I mean, come on now. We got somebody in this dynamic that is his ego is so big 
that he doesn't even see who's hurt behind him. He doesn't care who's hurting. The only person he cares about is himself. That's it. That's it. So, you know, you truly need to just gather, you know, gather and, 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 and walk away. Walk away. Don't let him go. Let him go because he's not worth it. He'll never see. He'll never see that you're hurting. He'll never see that. It's not worth it. That it's not worth the fight. It's not it's not worth it. He's actually the one that's hurting inside. Look at look at him. He's he's not happy. He's actually the one that's hurting. I mean, they're hurting too. They're hurting too. But he he's really really hurting. He thinks he's 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 won. He does. He thinks he's won, but in fact, he hasn't won. At least these people still have each other. He's he's alone. He's alone. He's going to be alone. Nobody nobody wants to be around a person like that. Okay? This person has done something to cause conflict because they they see they see that you're strong. Okay? They see that you're strong. They see that you're wise. So I feel like there's been some sort of altercation where somebody has been unable to master their emotions and there's been a conflict. There's been a conflict. Because somebody is hurting. Somebody is hurting and their ego is driving. Their ego and pride is driving. It's in control. The, per the ego is in control at this time with another person. And they don't want you to let go. They don't want you to let go. But they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't appreciate you. They don't want to work together with you. But they don't want you to let go. So I think there's been some sort of trick, okay, with the Seven of Swords, the, the Magician reversed, and this card, there's been some sort of trick that to keep somebody stuck. Yeah, I feel like there's been some kind of um, there's a very cold hearted individual here there is that is only looking for it's like self gain I don't care who I hurt as long as I'm on top. This person is really, really hurting on the inside. They are. They are. And they, they just, they, they, they really want somebody to feel their pain. So, you know, I feel like at this point, somebody has tried, you know, this is an energy thief and this is an energy thief. It's like a psychic vampire kind of energy. I think we have somebody in the mix that is stealing another person's energy to hold them back, to hold them back. It's almost like narcissistic behavior, it really is. I mean, look at this shit. I mean, it is. It's like narcissistic behavior right here. We got somebody offering, or they have offered false love, never had any integrity in doing so. Didn't care who they hurt. And they still don't care who they hurt. Because they lack self-love. They don't even love themselves. If they don't love themselves, how can they love another person? 
So I, I just really feel like somebody is about to get, get cut right out, like, really bad, cut right out. Um, because you don't, this woman right here, you don't, you, she's, no, you don't mess with her. She's like, you want to mess with me? I can play your game. I can play your game better than you can. And she's very revengeful. Very revengeful. You want to play? I wouldn't advise it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think that there's there's potential for some sort of, um, even a fight, okay, there is. There's a potential for some some sort of miscommunication or an argument or um, a battle. I mean, there, there could be some sort of battle on the horizon. Let this person walk away. The Seven of Swords right here. Just let them go. Consider it a blessing. Get, let them take what they got and go. That's your advice. Let them go. Because there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment after you do. Just, just you know what? I have my power. You're not in control. Consider this a blessing. Consider a blessing in disguise that this person is, is walking away. It is absolutely a gift from above. Because you have a better offer waiting for you. Okay? You do. You have a better offer waiting from you for you than dealing with this, this cheater, this liar, this player. So I think that There's an opportunity for happiness beyond this scenario. If you just let this person go, just let them go, let them go. Cut them out. Cut them out. You don't need to deal with a liar. You don't need to deal with a manipulator. You don't need to deal with somebody whose ego is so big that they do not care who they hurt. Why sacrifice yourself for a cold-hearted individual who will never compromise, who will never apologize, who will never work together as a team? Why? Why, 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 why? Why sacrifice yourself for somebody that doesn't have any good intentions? They are not a team player. They are a liar. They are a liar. They are a thief. They hurt people. They, they manipulate people. They steal their energy. They take love and they throw it away. Consider it a blessing to let this person go. Allow yourself to heal. It's better off to be alone than to be manipulated and lied to. I don't know who this reading is for, but there's an absolute player here that is trying to keep somebody stuck merely out of ego not love. So I think it's, it's really time for you to, to be that queen of swords. You see it clearly. You know what this is. Take back your power. Take it back. Just like that. Talk to you tomorrow.